Good afternoon. I call to order the Oklahoma City Metropolitan Area Public Schools Trust, June 30, 2015. Call the meeting to order. Uh, the first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the May 19, 2015 Oklahoma City MAPS Public Trust meeting. Move approval. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and second. We'll vote. Motion passes. The next item on the agenda is the financial reports. Good afternoon. Good the afternoon. first item on the uh, financial reports is to receive the 2015-2016 sales tax budget for the Oklahoma City Metropolitan Area Public Schools tax. And what this is, is this is our operating budget for the office. And this was approved um, by the City Council on June 6th. And the funds that um, are used for this budget were the funds that were set aside at the beginning of the program for the uh, operation of the office. And uh, this will take us through this year and with an anticipated balance that would carry over for the completion of the program in uh, 16 and 17. Are there any questions? Hearing none, may I have a motion, please? Move approval. Is there a second? Second. We'll vote. Motion passes. Item 3B, please. The next item is the, uh, the trust budget. And this in comprised of uh, three items and uh, totals $11,143,491. The, the first part of it is um, some administrative costs that we have. Um, that includes uh, community outreach services. One of the things that we anticipate doing in that uh, area this year is uh, kind of a wrap-up report of the program. We also have our annual audit contract, and then we, uh, we do some, some mailings and some other things out of that. Um, the majority of the funds are comprised of the actual uh, capital project dollars that we use for um, the uh, actual completion of the projects. The two major projects that we're going to have going forward, uh, new projects will be uh, Cesar Chavez, expansion there, we're putting in a gym, and then some uh, improvements at Moon Elementary. And then the last one is the suburban schools, and that's the balance of all the funds that are remaining. The vast majority of those funds are held with uh, Putnam City Baptist, Putnam City Baptist, Putnam City uh, Public Schools, excuse me for that. Are there any questions? <coughs> Not I'll move not. approval. Thank you, sir. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Having a motion and a second, we'll vote. Motion passes. Item 3C, please. This is the monthly uh, trust revenue and obligation report for March. We have a total of uh, $691 in interest earnings, and there were um, total expenditures in the amount of $535,015 for the month. And those are detailed in the expenditure report that is uh, attached as the next item for trust payments. Okay. Are there any questions? Not. I'll entertain a motion, please. Move, move approval. Second. Okay. It's been moved and second. We'll vote. Motion passes. Item 3D, please. Um, that, that's the trust payments reports that uh, I just mentioned. Move approval. Okay. Second. All right. We'll vote. Motion passes. The next item on the agenda is item four to approve amendment number seven to contract for OC MAPS program consulting services with ADG Inc. This is a fee increase of $104,500 and contract extension through June 30th, 2016. This is the contract amendment that you see similar uh, in the years past that come forward for ADG. The one exception for this is that um, we do not have any additional expenses being added for the actual sales tax projects. One of the previous amendments that we did included uh, oversight work for the Chavez and Moon projects 
So those are already included in their project uh, contract. The dollars that you see here are the uh, monthly program and administration fees for oversight in the field, the ADG. We pay to ADG for the 2007 bond projects, which they also assist in overseeing. Question? Yes, sir. Um, the, the agenda says fee increase of 104500 but I want to make sure that that is a, a fee not to exceed 104000 Yes, they, that, that total amount will be billed at $9,500 a month set um, in their contract. It's so it is, it is a, a full amount of 104000 Yes, it, it's, yes. It's in, it's in addition to the contract. That's a, it's a monthly fee that we pay for them for their general administration and overhead and and site work that they do on observation of the projects and monthly reports and such. Additional questions? If not, I entertain a motion, please. I'll move approval. Is there a second? Second. We'll vote. Motion passes. The next item on the agenda is item five to approve change order number two for Emerson Alternative School Renovation and Clinic. This is an increase of 34,768 project ES0079A slash TIF or TIF-A. There are a number of items on this. I'll remind you that this is the second project that we have at Emerson. The first one was uh, an addition that we built on the back part of the school. There's a several items on here that we show as a zero dollar amount, but I do want to point out that uh, we knew that we were going to run into some unforeseen things in this contract, so we put in some allowances in this contract for asbestos abatement. Uh, we also put, um, we know there's a lot of old plaster walls in here, so we put an allowance of $24,000 for unknown plaster repairs, that then when those come across, we've already you know, established some pricing and we can come in and take those out of the allowance. So there's some uh, walls that we ran into in the amount of $9,464 that will come out of the allowance for uh, plaster. And we ran into a existing drywall that was just too deteriorated to be able to uh, salvage. We uh, ran into an HVAC unit that was up above the ceilings. So we've got to deal with rerouting the condensate, li condensate lines that come out of that. Uh, we had some exterior uh, ponding of water that actually was associated with the first project that once we had all these rains that kind of in May that have tested, you know, uh, if, if there was ever a problem anywhere, we're going to find it. So we did find a problem there, and so we're going to relieve some water ponding that was on the east side of the school. We've got another item for plywood subfloor, and that was... Uh, or termite damage allowance that we had in the contract that will use $3,900 of that. And then the final item is project delays that are in, in three different uh, categories, basically. Um, the, the first two had to do with uh, the administrative suite and then the cafeteria and kitchen that we were due to some conflicts with things they had going on in the school. We weren't able to receive those from, get released from the school district at the times that we thought because of activities that they had going on. And then um, the third one is a delay that we encountered due to the uh, chalkboards that we found that you know, made national news and, and such. There's really quite a, quite a find that we found there. The, the cost, we're still receiving pricing on those and the cost that, to actually um, do the fur outs and preserve those boards until we can find a temporary solution will be brought forward in a, uh, change order at the next meeting. We anticipate that we'll have that pricing by then. So uh, that's the summary of that change order. Any questions? Questions? Not I entertain a motion, please. Move approval. Is there a second? Second. Okay. We'll vote. Okay. Motion passes. Item number six is concurrent or 6A concurrence with uh, independent school district number 89 in approving change order number 10 for IA 89 2007 bond issue project S7004 classrooms and gymnasiums at Adams, Bodine, 
Horace Mann and Kaiser Elementary Schools. This is an increase of $13,031. Want to walk us through this? Go ahead. The main item on this one is uh, some site grade revisions to eliminate ponding on some ex existing sidewalks at Adams Elementary. Uh, try to take care of that for them. So that's the, that's the main item. Did we discover this when it started raining? Did we all get all this yeah, rain? Yeah, we found a few of those around. <laughs> Any other questions? Move no approval. For a second? Second. Okay, we'll vote. Motion passes. Okay, item 6B, concurrence item with uh, independent school district number 89 and approving the preliminary report for I-89 2007 school bond issue project S7009 gymnasiums at Hawthorne, Sequoia, North Highland, Linwood, and Ridgeview Elementary Schools. This is a preliminary report from uh, Design Architects Plus for five gymnasiums. The project is under the cost estimate at the preliminary report stage, and we would uh, meets all the design requirements, and we would recommend uh, concurrence with this item. Okay. Any questions? Comments? It's not an entertain a motion, please. Move approval. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we'll vote. Motion passes. Mr. Klaus. Yes, and Chairman, members <clears throat> of the trust. Um, maps for kids projects, there are only two projects under construction, and uh, one of those is nearing completion, the parking uh, paving project at Jackson Elementary School. Uh, the other is the Emerson alternative that Lance mentioned, the renovation and clinic project. Uh, John Rex Elementary School playground plans um, are scheduled for uh, to be rebid. I think we have that on schedule for the city council meeting next Tuesday on the 7th to rebid that project and receive those bids in August. Um, I-89 I bond projects, there are 17 gym and classroom projects that are complete and have been final accepted. There are three gym and classroom projects that have received certificates of substantial completion that will be processed for final acceptance as soon as all the punch list work has been completed. Uh, then construction continues at Kaiser for gym and classroom projects and also at Taft Stadium. Uh, and construction continues on uh, new gym projects at Nichols Hills, Heronville, Fillmore, Prairie Queen, Rockwood, Eugene Field, and Edwards Elementary Schools. Final plans are scheduled for approval in July uh, and bid in August for gyms at Lee, Britton, Arthur, Parks, and Willowbrook Elementaries. Uh, and the preliminary report, as Lance mentioned a minute ago, and it was uh, approved by the board uh, for gyms at Hawthorne, Sequoia, North Highland, Linwood, and Ridgeview Elementary. Uh, and we held um, consultant selection interviews uh, a couple of weeks ago for gyms at Quail Creek, Cleveland, Scheidler, Rancho Village, and Western Village Elementaries, and uh, um, authorization for negotiation of a contract with a successful architect is on next week's city council uh, meeting. And the next uh, trust meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, July 7th at 3 p.m. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Clowers. Next item, item eight is the program consultant update, and I believe we have a report from ADG in our packet. Is there, are there any questions on that? Okay. Not, we'll move on to comments by trustees, staff, or citizens. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> I would just like to thank the staff for their responsiveness to my many information requests. Um, but I would renew my request for information of um, the John Rex original um, original share of costing uh, between the TIF, the foundation, and the MAPS funds vis-a-vis -vis, um, what we've actually experienced. Thank you. We will, we'll make sure that gets done and we'll get it to you. Any other comments by trust? Staff, not, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.